Hello Zany friends and thank you for watching another book video. Today I am talking about an oldie but a goodie and the only reason why I'm reviewing it is because I never really have reviewed it but I'm reading it as part of my book club this whole series so we're gonna start with the first one and I'm gonna show you the uh, version that I have and then I'm gonna show put up the other picture because this thing's huge but I'm talking about Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This book is the illustrated. I have the first four and also three three of the extras, Tales of Beale the Bard, History of Magic, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So I have all of those and I intend on getting the rest as they come out because these are gorgeous. So I'm going to show you a picture really quick of something in the book and how it is illustrated. So for example, it's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful book. So I did finish this book. First one. <laughs> first one um but I'm gonna put the picture here because it's heavy uh so Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones um I was really interested to find out that in my book club there were quite a few people who haven't read it yet and some of them have not even seen the movie yet which you know I guess in my world as I work in at Universal it's like Harry Potter is my world like there's I, I'm literally probably a five minute walk from Hogwarts <laughs> and a 15 minute walk from Diagon Alley. So, I mean, it's my world. <laughs> it's one of my favorite stories of all time. I, I can read it again and again and I never get tired of the characters, the world, Fantastic Beasts. I love that movie series because it's like a more mature version of Harry Potter and still within that world, I, I just, I fall in love with this world so much. And even the people who are reading it were like, why have I never read this before? I don't know, but I'm glad you are now because you need to. Um, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, Harry Potter, so overplayed. No, guys, guys, it's good, right? So even even though this is written for young adults, I know in this day and age, us mature people like reading the young adult books. It, it's mainstream. But in this case, this book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is a story about Harry, who is 13, and he goes to Hogwarts and finds out that he is a wizard. And he gets to leave his mother's family, who does not treat him in the best way, and go be special <laughs> in this world. <laughs> and this particular book is about the Sorcerer's Stone, which of course is a, uh, a stone that helps, uh, it, it actually does a couple things, but the main thing is it, it keeps you from dying, gives you immortality, but there are other things that it does as well. And this stone is trying to be stolen by different people, you know, because of course it's going to give you eternal life, so why wouldn't you want this? But Harry is also coming into his own in this book and he finds Hermione and Ron and he, that is the start of the Fabulous Three that make their way through all seven books of Harry Potter and that play Cursed Child and now apparently there's going to be some more which is amazeballs. Um, but that is the story of the Sorcerer's Stone and it's when Harry finds out uh, who he is and what his parents were like a little by little starting in this book. It's really hard to talk about Harry Potter without totally spoiling it because it's so mainstream and because, you know, most people have read it. <laughs> so it's really hard to just be like, okay, that's where I'm gonna stop about talking this book, but that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, uh, next month we are reading, of course, Chamber of Secrets, and I will be doing a review about that one as well. Uh, but if you want me to continue doing this, I am actually doing other books. I'm supposed to be reading Hunger Games as well, and we should be starting Illuminae pretty soon here. So these are all older series, but I am reading um, them as well. And if you want me to review those, I will. Just comment below and let me know. Until next time, stay zany.